Well, it's been a while since I did a full Maya modeling video. Uh, today we're gonna do a special request. Uh, I received a request to do the Black Knight helmet from Monty Python, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna do the whole thing. Here we go. This video has been made possible by soloanimation.com. Okay guys, well we're in Maya 2018 as you can see and uh, we're going to be working on the Black Knight helmet from Monty Python or Monty Python, okay? Now, uh, this is a subscriber request. Uh, it's pretty cool because we're going to do a full set. So we're going to do modeling, we're going to do uh, UVing in the next video, we're going to do uh, sculpting and subbrush, texturing and substance painter, the whole nine yards, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of the bottom of that cylinder, bringing it into my reference image so I can scale it up. And then what I'm going to do is take that middle vertex on the top there, hit B for soft select and increase that impacted area by holding down uh, B and left clicking and dragging to get that kind of curved surface on the top there. Okay. So as you can see that fits quite well. And I don't want to change the overall dimensions of the, uh, the cylinder just yet because I want to hold on to that symmetry as long as possible. Uh, so whenever I need to uh, create something that goes all the way around, I don't have to be finicky about it. So I'm adding some uh, edges here for the, uh, the opening for the eyes and the mouth later on. And right now I'm just uh, selecting that uh, top section there because as you can see from the helmet, it's somewhat extruded from uh, the overall surface. Um, sometimes it's kind of finicky to find out what exact uh, value you need, uh, as you can see, uh, but you know, it will turn out okay. All right, that looks fine. Now I'm going to take a little cube and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put that onto the center, so the top of uh, our helmet. And I'm going to turn that into that cross that's on top of the helmet. So basically, two stretched uh, rectangle or two stretched uh, cubes. And um, what I'm going to do is add about eight subdivisions so I can uh, bend it over the top. And the reason why I'm doing it this way instead of uh, you know uh, extruding it uh, is because this is supposed to be a medieval, so a very old uh, piece of kit and uh, you don't want it to look too clean because it will look fake okay so at some point you want it to have some uh, dents and scratches and some deformities so uh, by doing it manually i got more control over what that would look like later on okay and uh, you know it's just i think a, a personal preference of uh, how you want to do it just uh, pushing down those final uh, vertices at the end uh, making it a bit thinner and then I'm going to copy this over and rotate it 90 degrees to complete the cross. Now I'm going to use a Boolean union to combine these two. Uh, keep in mind that that might create a, a non-manifold uh, geometry. Um, that's something that I will address uh, in the UV video. Okay. Uh, getting back in line with our reference image. And I'm going to... Um, Hit B again for soft select so I can start to follow that front line of the helmet and again by uh, selecting the vertices and hitting B uh, it's easier to have multiple vertices uh, follow along when you start to follow that shape okay so as you can see that's working out quite well on the side there once I get to the bottom uh, the whole soft select thing will be bothering me a little bit so I'm going to turn it off just jump back, turn it off, and do it manually. Sometimes that's just easier. All right. Seems to be okay. Just adjusting those uh, edges a little bit so they're aligned with the, uh, the openings that we need later on for the mouth. And now what I'm going to do is take that vertical uh, edge and uh, bevel it so I can extrude those faces out so we've got somewhat of a nose bridge. Don't go nuts on that. Keep it in check here. 
And then on the side there, I'm going to take that vertex on the top and push it down a little bit. And I'll do the same at the bottom, uh, just because I think that looks better. You need to have some creative freedom, right? So now I'm going to take uh, three uh, vertical edges on each end and uh, bevel them. Uh, so I get uh, nine openings for um, uh, the, the, the mouth for breathing and talking and whatnot. There you go. And while I'm at that, just want to mention to you guys that the MH Tutorials 3D Modeling Challenge is still ongoing. Um, the close date is November 15th. So if you haven't uh, participated in that yet, uh, don't forget to do so. Uh, there are very, very cool prizes that you can win. And uh, I'll put a link up here so you can uh, check it out, okay? So we have the openings for the mouth, uh, looks okay. I'm going to add some edges on the top there. As you can see, there is a, um, a band going all the way around that's somewhat extended further than the rest. And what I'm doing is selecting the entire front plate of the helmet, including that uh, band, and that's going to be uh, extruded. So we'll have uh, additional thickness compared to the rest of the helmet. So it will be uh, a plausible uh, part of the helmet as far as being a face plate, if you will. Okay, so just checking to make sure selecting is okay. Uh, gonna extrude that. And be careful not to extrude that too far. And as you can see, this uh, looks fine. Okay, and now it's uh, rivet or bolt time. So just take a sphere, uh, five by five subdivision, cut it in half and then move it up and we'll use that as a, let's call it a, a bolt okay um, don't make them too big uh, because that's usually a dead giveaway that it's fake and i'm uh, taking a, a couple of these and positioning them manually so a rotation position and whatnot and once that is done i will uh, centralize the pivot point of these three to the center of the helmet so i can easily copy them over to the other ones okay so I'm moving the pivot point here to the center and then I can hit Control D to duplicate them. Hold down E while I rotate and uh, E to rotate, hold down J to snap in sections of 15 degrees and then you can easily snap them onto the other elements. Okay. Now we need uh, these rivets on the side as well, uh, vertically going down. I'm uh, manually repositioning it a little bit because it's not completely at 90 degrees anymore. and. Uh, as you can see, so just uh, put that in place, make sure they follow nicely with that line there, and then copy them down. Something like so. All right, of course, I'm going to copy them over because I want them on the other side as well, so we'll do that too. And then when that's done, we need a, um, a band of rivets uh, going over that a horizontal band just above the, uh, the eye opening. So I'm going to copy one more for that. Uh, because of um, the way these have been manipulated, uh, things are no longer perfectly symmetrical. So once I have copied these around, I'll have to go back in and adjust some of them manually. And that's you know kind of what I talked about before. Okay. You'll see that some will be sticking out a bit more than others. It's not a big deal. I mean, something you can uh, adjust really quickly. So no biggie, right? Now, when these are in place, basically the only thing uh, left to do is to uh, create those tiny little uh, rivets that run down over the uh, the nose guard, or well, well, let's call it a nose guard, okay? And just in case you're hearing some weird noise, that's my uh, guinea pig going nuts. Okay, you see that I missed a little section on the front there. Uh, I'll make sure that's corrected before we go into the UV video. Um, I think I missed something from uh, selecting uh, some stuff there. 
but uh, like I said, I'll fix that. Now be careful when you do this section. Um, this will uh, add a, a big number to your poly count. So if you do not want that, then keep it lower res, uh, but I'm not too concerned about it. So I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna make that one just slightly off and we can put them in and uh, copy them over. So like I said, the next video is gonna be a full UV video. Um, thank you guys for watching so far. Uh, don't forget to check out my GoFundMe campaign in the link below if you would do that. That would mean the world to me because it will help me to keep on going and create content for you guys, okay? So that is uh, pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.